guys, it's Robert D. Riley from DJ Mastermind. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about a post that I came across the other day in Facebook. It had to do with whether or not a disc jockey was professional or not. How you could tell, and how you could call yourself a professional. And some of the responses that I read during that on that really really shocked me so today I'm gonna beat a dead horse a little bit but I want you guys to take a look at something a little bit different so just kinda of hang with me for just a couple minutes you know back in the 80s in the early 80s when I started 23 years ago we only had one thing to use we had vinyl you didn't have any choice we had LPs or 45's that's all you had and most of the time we used LPs we used tone arms and, and uh, record players. Okay? You had amps and passive speaker systems. Our lighting was made with halogen bulbs. Anything less than that wasn't professional. Because it's what we had to use. Jump ahead a couple, uh, a couple of years and now they came out with this brand new invention called the tape recorder. Now we could actually hook our, 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 our album, or our, uh, excuse me, our record players into, into this tape player and we could actually record our sets. And we could go back and listen to ourselves later in the night and make sure how everything sounded. All of that evolved and went into CDs. So you went from albums to tape players, tape players to CDs. Once CDs came out, this exact same argument started coming up. Those that still used vinyl were saying that people using CDs were cheating. That they weren't professional because they were using CDs instead of vinyl. Those using CDs were saying that the people that, that were still using vinyl were doing it the Stone Age way. Go ahead and step forward a little bit further. Now we've gone from CDs to MP3s to digital formats. So now that we can use laptops and MIDI controllers, we can use USB powered control surfaces to allow us to control software that plays our MP3s. Now everybody's saying that because of the MP3 formats or the real formats, the sound doesn't come out as well. We've gone from passive speaker systems that we had to use big multi bulky amps with to active speaker systems that we can just plug in and the amps are automatically built in. We've gone from halogen style lamps to LEDs. Instead of changing a bulb out every couple of weeks now we have lighting fixtures that will last years. Consider this when we start talking about professional versus amateur because a lot of people have put a lot of emphasis on the on on the tools that we use. You know, it doesn't matter which side of the fence you fall on, whether you're a mobile jock or a club jock, whether you do it on the radio as a radio jock, or you're a wedding entertainer. It really makes no difference. Because in all of the years that I've been doing this, one thing hasn't changed. One thing has always remained consistent throughout the business, and it's throughout every business I've ever dealt with, and that's ethics. How you treat your customers, how you run your business, what you do. It's the ethics that make you professional. It's not the tools that you use. It doesn't matter if you use vinyl, you use CDs, you use MP3s, or you use an iPad. It really makes no difference. It's how you run your business, how you treat your customers, and are you charging a fair price to your customers for what you do? Are you standing out in the middle of the floor making announcement and being a master of ceremonies? Are you double checking things behind the scenes at a wedding? It's what we do. Somebody down the road may not do that. For me to go into a wedding and just stay behind the boards and not go out on the floor and not double check to make sure certain things are done during that night before I get to them, that to me would be unethical. So I have a higher ethics standard. 
Think about that the next time you start wondering whether somebody's being professional or not. Ask if maybe this is the bar of ethics. Do they come up to it or are they exceeding it? Professional is as professional does. The last thing I'm going to say is surround yourself by other professionals. The more you talk to other more the, the other people that are successful and have the same ethics as you in your chosen field, the more successful you're going to become. But that's just my two cents. Guys, I am Robert D. Riley, the Arkansas Pro DJs and DJ Mastermind. And until next time, have a fantastic day.